Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So in a recent hearing, Congressman Troy Nels, who is actually a very, very smart, one of the most polite guys in Congress, absolutely freaking wrecked Gary Nadler, who, who I don't think anyone who's being at all close to intellectually honest could ever say the same thing about him. Now, this is all in uh, the testimony of Merrick Garland. And they're all trying to unravel the mysteries of what he is actually doing to and with our Department of Justice. And a lot of what they talked about, the ongoing cases against President Donald Trump, of course, the ongoing stuff with Hunter Biden, led by special counsels, the two of them. And it all went sideways when Nadler tried to swoop into Garland's rescue and save him from the questioning of Nels. And uh, I'm not exactly sure where old Jerry thought that was gonna go, how he thought that was gonna play out, but the dude got absolutely served, you know, you guys have got to see this. He's, he's not as sharp. I don't know. If, let me know in the comments. Was he ever sharp? Because he's definitely not sharp now. But before I show it, guys, thanks so much to everyone that's been subscribing and leaving such great comments in the community. We're having a lot of fun with you guys. We're building a hell of a group. Really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, it's an FBI term. I don't know all the technicality, but right. it's... Here, let me define it for you. It's in your own policy here. Okay. An individual who is believed to be providing useful and credible information to the FBI from any authorized information collection activity and from whom what the FBI expects or intends to obtain additional useful and credible information in the future. All right. And whose identity uh, information or relationship with the FBI warrants confidential handling. So these guys are individuals. You pay them $42 million a year. Did you know that? The, the, the IG said you're paying these sources $42 million a year. Did you know that? I know informants are it's paid. It's $42 million a year. So do you believe that they're credible? They're valuable? The FBI's using these guys. We're paying them a lot of money. Would you agree with that? I agree. Some are more Very credible. good. So they're credible. credible you're than paying others. them a lot of money. You got a lot of them out there. So let me paint the picture for America. Hunter Biden joins Burisma in 2014. Burisma, very, very corrupt Ukrainian energy company. He has no experience in oil and gas. He admits it. He says, I don't have any experience. I know why I'm there. I have a dad. I have with me a document called the FD-1023. Have you seen this? You're yes, familiar I, with it? I, yeah, okay. I, I it's used by it. the FBI, everybody in America. It's used by the FBI. It is a confidential human source reporting document dated June 2020. You're familiar with it. In this document, the FBI's confidential human source says Burisma, now the corrupt company, needed to keep Hunter on the board so everything would be okay. And according to the human source, they hired Hunter Biden to, quote, protect us through his dad for all kinds of problems. Mr. Gardelin, does that concern you? The okay, it should. I got limited time. Remember, your sources are credible, trustworthy, on, honest, and valuable. Are you familiar with Victor Shokin? The document that you're... Who is Mr. Victor Shokin? So I got three minutes left. You want me to answer that? Yeah, Victor Shokin. Who is he? I, I don't know. Do you want okay, me to answer the Okay, he's the, the first prosecutor, question? folks. He's the prosecutor that was... He, he oversees all the corruption in Ukraine. We know there's corruption over there. For the American people watching, after a few months... A few months after Hunter Biden joined the Burisma board, Victor Shokin was named Prosecutor General for Ukraine to target corruption. And one of his investigations was into Burisma. In this FD-1023 document, the human source clarified that Burisma's CEO, the man in charge of Burisma, said he has many text messages and recordings that show he was coerced to make such payment to ensure Victor Shokin was fired. Matter of fact, there were 17 of them. Mr. Garland, it's clear Joe Biden wanted Shokin fired so he would stop looking into Burisma, where Hunter was on the board. Would you agree? The All right, let's let the American people decide. Play the clip. Play the clip. I remember going over convincing our team, our <coughs> others, to convincing us that we should be providing for loan guarantees. And I went over, I guess, the 12th, 13th time to Kiev and... Uh, and I was going, supposed to announce that there was another billion dollar loan guarantee. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from Pay attention, uh, sir, Yatsenyuk please. that they would take action against I'm the looking. state prosecutor, and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to the press conference and said, no, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting the billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. 
<laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was there you go. solid. Mr. Attorney General, what you just saw, there was Joe Biden in his arrogance and role as the vice president in this country saying if you don't fire Shokin, the United States isn't given the $1 billion loan. Why would Joe Biden say that as the vice president? Why would he say such a thing? Was it policy? Was it our policy at the time? Yes or no? Is it that... wasn't. I have documents here. Interagency policy committee dated a Point of information. Is the gentleman ever going to let the I'm on my time. Him? Pipe down. Saying Shokin had made significant the reforms. Texas. He's made significant reforms. Shokin did. Matter of fact, John Kerry says he was impressive. And you know, within a few months after Shokin was fired, they appoint a prosecutor that said, we're not going to look in the Burisma anymore. Cancel that. Forget it. We're not looking in the Burisma. Boom. Here comes the million dollars. Joe Biden threatened the Ukrainian president and the prime minister. Everybody can see it. The fire Shokin or the United States won't give the billion dollars. If that is not quid pro quo, sir, what is? I will tell you what it is, and America agrees with me. It's bribery, and it's impeachable. Are you going to do something about it? I bet I'm you done. not, and that's why you, sir, also need to be impeached. So yeah, man, poor Jerry, dude. I don't know what he thought was going to happen, how he thought that was going to go. I don't know if you guys saw my video about him uh, getting absolutely blasted by his own constituents over his support for illegal immigration, but the dude just can't win lately, which is good. He's got every bit of this coming. You know, they are the ones that turned the justice system into a three-ring freaking circus during Trump's era. Congress, too. All the grandstanding, all the showboating. What did they think was going to happen? Now they're all about decorum and they're hoping for easy, breezy questions. Come on, dude. That What planet are these people from? Well, they're from the planet where they were able to steamroll Republicans for decades. So I, I guess it makes sense. But, you know, let me know in the comments. Are they really that dumb that they didn't think that they were going to receive at least some of the same treatment? And honestly, I don't think Nadler's going to win re-election. The guy is definitely, definitely slipping, but we'll see how that goes. Guys, that's just my take. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Let me know yours in the comments. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.